I want to bring in BBC News correspondent Nick Beek. He is uh, following all of this from Jerusalem. Nick, it, it's good to see you. Um, you know, earlier this morning, uh, I had heard that communications with uh, Al Shifa Hospital they were down. So I don't know if we even have an idea of what the situation is like now. And you know, we we played that video, um, Israeli video, showing what they say are Hamas sort of strongholds underneath a children's hospital. I'm wondering about the claims that Hamas is using this hospital as a shield. Amory, you're absolutely right. It's really difficult to get communications with the Al Shifa Hospital, which is, of course, the biggest hospital in Gaza. But the latest we've had today pictures yet again a very grim picture. The medical director there saying that more than 170 bodies have now been buried in what is a, a mass grave. They've said previously they haven't been able to do that because they were too frightened to go outside and perform the burial because they thought they might be caught in the in the crossfire. So that is a, a real concern there. And also the plight of more than 30 babies. We're told there are newborn babies who urgently need intensive care. There's no real development on whether they've been moved to a safer place, so really difficult. As for that claim that the Israelis say once again that there is this bunker underneath the hospital that Hamas has been using, they haven't put forward any specific intelligence or evidence for that, but as you say, and as we were seeing in the report just there, they have talked about another hospital where they say there is evidence that Hamas have built a bunker underneath. So Hamas has said now that it's willing to exchange about 50 to 70 women and children who are being held hostage in exchange for a five day ceasefire. I know uh, Benjamin Netanyahu has said very clearly that he is not interested in a ceasefire. A five day ceasefire certainly seems like a long time. What do we know about the situation in terms of negotiating to get these hostages released? Yeah, I think it's worth stressing, Anne-Marie, that it's really difficult to have any sort of certainty when it comes to these hostage negotiations. They're obviously taking place behind the scenes. We know the Gulf state of Qatar is intricately involved with them. As you say, there is this suggestion from Hamas that potentially 50 to 70 hostages could be released. Certainly, that would be something that the families here in Israel are desperately looking forward to. But in terms of this coming to fruition, we're not seeing anything imminent, but the hope is that there will be conversations but there is that big stumbling block as you say Benjamin Netanyahu the Prime Minister here has said the hostages need to be released before there can be any ceasefire and as we see there's no sign of that at the moment right and of course his concern is any sort of ceasefire would give Hamas uh, time to retool recollect itself and uh, be ready for the next offensive um, Nick Beek thank you very much